People love that. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us back. So here's the secret to cooking, having fun. Having fun, Yeah, that's the ticket. Now there are over, what, a couple hundred varieties of figs. Yes. And there are some new ones, and catch them if you can, but sooner rather than later, they'll be available. Yeah, but those are brand new. Quite a name for it, that's still oh. secret, but look at that. Is that unbelievable? The taste is like a raspberry. And you can't say the name, it's that's top secret. Right? It is top, top secret. secret, you're gonna have You'll to have kill to me, I can't say it. But yeah. look at the colors. Isn't that Unbelievable. gorgeous? Unbelievable. So these are the things that the farmers are doing. They're cultivating some of those old heirloom varieties that are out there. A great combination. Tastes good and pretty. Oh, yeah. now you said something about go big or go home, or did I say that? Uh, you said it, I and said then it. I said I would go bigger. <laughs> yeah. And bigger is here. Yeah. What are we doing? Guess what? Not a steak. Because you can get little steaks. We're going to do a big one. So this is steak. why they call you the hottest new trendsetter. So now you've met him. Yeah. Now, set the trend for the steak. Instead of buying two steaks, you buy a big, thick one. It's almost like a roast. And then we're going to slowly grill it and carve it at the end. It's beautiful. And then we're going to pair it with figs, again, making them more savory. savory. You eat a dried fig, it tastes like a fig Newton. Yeah. <laughs> if you then put some black pepper on it, it comes off as being very meaty. Completely changed like the entire... Rib. Yeah, it's, it's like unbelievable. Rib. Unbelievable. Yeah. I would have never done that. Thanks. It could have been an accident, but no, no, it just spilled. <laughs> and it, See, spilled. this is why it's so important to, you gotta have a guy, we got a guy now, to kind of explain how all of these flavors go with you, because truly, I would have never put pepper on a fig, and it's fantastic. Yep. All right, how are we gonna cook this up? So, I like to be fairly simple. I'm just coated with a little bit of olive oil, and then it's great to salt beef right before you cook it. So there's the steak, so I've just sort of rubbed it, and now that we've done that, we have to put it on the grill. Oh, right away. We can't wait. Key, hot fire, gotta be hot. Gotta start with a hot fire and finish with a slow fire. Ooh. So the next step is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna add some roasted garlic with the figs together, whole roasted garlic cloves, another very savory flavor, and you just break open the garlic cloves. I don't do too much with them, just sort of put them in oh, with the Oh, really, you don't them. have to peel them? One day I woke up and said, you know, you don't have to peel them because they'll turn soft inside, and then at the table, they just push on them, yes. and that creamy garlic comes out. I'm gonna try this. Oh, that's, yeah, I was eyeing that. Robert, that is unbelievable. The color is really something. You guys are gonna love that. You better ask for it. It's fantastic. And then we're gonna put these figs inside. So we have those just lightly coated with olive oil. Then we're gonna put that black pepper on it. This was in the oven. You could roast in the oven. Well, that's it. Just like 20 minutes, and it's, it's nothing can go wrong, really. These are finished. I'm gonna check the right. steak. Okay. Now the last part, and this is what I love, is you put the pan on a, on a nice hot fire. A lot of people when they cook with herbs, they put it sometimes on the meat or the chicken early in the in the roasting, right. and they kind of burn. This one, we're gonna heat this garlic. I call it herbaceous. Oil. Herbaceous, Do you yeah. like that? That's my made up word, it's herbaceous. It's a real word, I think. Well, you have the PhD, you need to tell me. I just have a dictionary. <laughs> When that olive oil gets hot, and you can see it's starting to crackle there, Yeah. you then add these thyme branches in, and just gonna toss them with it, those herbs kinda start to pop. They turn bright green. I was green. just gonna say, they turn a beautiful green. Yeah. So that's, that's done. Oh, that's, that's it. That's all it takes. Let's check the steak, what do you think? Can we take it off? Sure, it's a big steak, so you really gotta get a hold it of it. It is Let a big steak. Let me give you a hand there. Now you've taken it off the plate. Yes, yeah, so we do that big steak, and then I like to carve it so you can just fan it out and bring it a platter to the table. Great. Then you just come with this, and you can even tilt it right out of the skillet. You let everything tumble over the top. I'm not That's fussy. That's great. And then for the finishing touch, if you like, and sometimes to brighten it, I just added kind of an Italian style, really. Oh, I like it. I, I think can appreciate, appreciate that. that. Very a good. A little bit of lemon. Remember, the trendsetter missed our opportunity. <laughs> Showed us another one that's easy to do. It's on our website, bringingithome.com. You think we're done? We aren't. We'll be right back. We got another one to do, don't one we? One more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is great. Isn't that great? Yeah. Beautiful.